Hi, in this video I will tell you about the helicopter, control, weapons, and some tips. First, let's set up everything. Go into Options, Air Battle Settings. Turn on the square radar, if you like it better. Turn on Empty Weapon Container Automatic Jettison. Helicopter Battle Settings. Switch off Automatic Pilot in Gunner Mode. Go into Controls. Let me list what I use. Tracking Camera, use it to locate the position of the SAM. Hover Mode, never use in combat, only when using a tracking camera. Manual Roll Control Mode, needed to perform smooth movements without energy loss. Large Caliber or Additional Guns. Jettison Secondary Weapon, needed to shed extra weight when the engine is damaged. Fire Rocket. Fire Rocket Salvo. Weapon Lock, Air to Air, Air to Ground, needed for activation resetting of the Seeker Head. Switch Secondary Weapons, needed to fire or drop the desired weaponry. Toggle Laser Designator, needed when using a Hellfire Missile. Switch Radar, need to be invisible to RWR. Change Radar Mode, changes the MTI, AA, AG Mode. Change Radar Search Mode, changes the angle of view. Change Radar Scope Scale, changes the range of vision. Select Radar Target to lock on. Lock Radar Target on. Fire Countermeasures. Periodic Countermeasures Release. Bound Termazor Slaving to Maw, turn it off if there are allied missiles flying near you. Ballistic Computer. Sight Stabilization. Cockpit View. Shooter, important, the same button. View in battle, needed when using unguided missiles, because sometimes the ballistic marker goes over the edge of the screen. Mouse wheel, set the zoom axis to select the optimal magnification. Open cockpit, needed to hear enemy planes. Switch NVD mode, activating the thermal imager. Consider the helicopter sight. The designations in the scope, you can see on the pause. The oblique lines indicate that stabilization is enabled. The square indicates that the auto tracker has locked onto the target. The circle indicates that you can manually correct the missile. You can stabilize the sight by pressing the F button and the sight stabilizes on the ground or in the air. If you aim more accurately and press F, you will immediately take the target on auto tracker. Consider how the radar works, helicopters have two or three modes of radar. MTI mode, shows only dynamic targets, it is a tank or plane, it does not matter. AA, shows only air targets. AG shows only ground targets. How to use the radar, Select a target and press to capture the target. Aim 9L and Stinger, activate Seeker Head, shoot. If Seeker Head captures the wrong target, press activate Seeker Head again. Use Aim 9L against planes. Almost useless against helicopters, use stinger against helicopters, almost useless against planes. Unguided rocket, put the marker on target and shoot. APKWS, if this is your first time firing this weapon, put unguided rockets on one pylon, and use the unguided rocket ballistic computer. Since APKWS are slower than unguided rockets, place the marker 1-2 KMS farther away from the target and fire. Use against lightly armored targets and helicopters that are closer than 4 kilometers. Hellfire, if your opponent Sam Roland 2, missile range 8 kilometers, you can shoot from 7900 M, turn off the laser, fly 8000 plus meters, and bring the missile to the target, out of range of your opponent's missile.
if your opponent SAM with a missile is 10 to 12 kilometers, you need to use cover, shoot the missile, turn off the laser, go behind cover, when the timer reaches 15 seconds, we should start to fly out from behind cover, turn on the laser, bring the missile to the target, our missile will reach the enemy faster than it reaches us. There is one nuance when using the hell fires in this way, the angle of view of the seeker head is 40 degrees, so sometimes the missile does not see the laser dot. To avoid such moments, you first need to aim 12 plus km into the distance, and then smoothly shift the sight to the target. You can use the hell fire against helicopters, you need to fire 3 to 5 missiles at intervals of 0.5 seconds, it is important that the enemy is closer than 5 kilometers and is not higher than our altitude, then with an 80% chance we will hit the enemy helicopter. Pars 3 LR, activate seeker head, wait for capture, shoot. If the missile captures the wrong target, reset the seeker head. Important, always try to shoot the rocket up 40 to 50 degrees, then the rocket will have more energy to hit the maneuvering target and less chance that the rocket will lose the target. This is the most ATGM against Ka 50, 52 and SAM. Cancer of this game, Russian Vicar missiles, has proxy fuse, kill supersonic planes, helicopters, tanks through smokes. I'm going to end here, the other missiles are similar to the Vikra and Hellfire missiles, only they are slower and worse. And lastly, 4 tips. 1. Use tracking camera for SAM detection, tracking camera is available for Hellfire and unguided missiles. 2. Fly below 15 meters, at this altitude does not work proxy fuse enemy missiles. 3. If you have no time to get away from the enemy missile, fire missiles in front of you, this will activate the proxy fuse of the enemy missile and it will explode in front of you. The diameter of the missile should be higher than 81 millimeters, the bigger the diameter of your missile, the better the chance. 4. Do not lift your landing gear as it is your airbag. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to my channel so I can make more videos.